Hi, I'm Venila. In today's video, I'm going to talk about pressure cables. The general construction of a three-phase cable consists of three cores, impregnated paper insulation, lead sheet, armoring, and serving. There are three types of underground power cables that are usually used for three-phase services. Belted cables, screened cables, and pressure cables. The construction of belted cables and screen cables are more or less similar to the general construction except for some minor differences. These are called solid type cables because solid insulation is used. There's a problem with this solid insulation. When the cable carries the load, its conductor temperature increases. This leads to the expansion of paper insulation. This action stretches the lead sheet which may be damaged. When the load on the cable decreases, the conductor cools and the paper insulation contracts. This may result in the formation of voids. Voids are nothing but vacant spaces. They may cause permanent damage to paper insulation. Therefore, for higher voltages beyond 66 kV, these solid type cables are not recommended. Instead, pressure cables are used. In pressure cables, the voids are eliminated by increasing the pressure of the component. It can be done either using oil or gas. Accordingly, they are classified into oil-filled cables and gas pressure cables. Let's first concentrate on this oil-filled cable. Here, channels or ducts are provided in the cable for oil circulation. The oil is constantly supplied to the channel by means of external reservoirs placed at suitable distances along the cable route. The oil is maintained under pressure by these reservoirs. The oil filled cables are classified into three types depending on the location of the oil channel in the cable. Single core conductor channel, single core sheath channel and three core filler space channel. As the name indicates, a single core conductor channel has one core. In this case, the strands of the core are arranged in such a way that it gives a hollow cylinder structure. Oil is present at the center surrounded by steel spiral tape. As the channel is made of spiral steel tape, it allows the oil to percolate between conductor strands and wrapped insulation. Oil compresses the layers of the insulation and is forced to avoid any voids that may be formed between the layers. Here, when the conductor temperature increases, the oil gets expanded. During this time, the extra oil is collected in the reservoir. However, when the conductor temperature falls down during the light load conditions, the oil from the reservoir flows to the channel. As far as single core sheet channel is concerned, oil ducts are provided in the metallic sheet. In the three core filler space channel, we have three cores and the oil ducts are located in the filler spaces. Due to the elimination of voids, the oil filled cables can be used for higher voltages. The oil filled cables require a relatively smaller amount of insulation as compared to the solid type for the same operating voltage. However, the major disadvantages are the high initial cost and complicated system of laying. Now let's talk about gas pressure cables. Here the cable is very similar to solid type cable except that it is of triangular shape. The cable is placed inside a gas type steel pipe. The pipe is filled with pressurized nitrogen gas. The pressure closes the voids by compression. These cables can carry more load current and operate at higher voltages than a normal cable. Here, the overall cost is very high, but the maintenance cost is low. That's all for today. Bye. See you in my next video.